Cancer, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 2nd to the 8th of May 2022. Um, you can watch this for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So if you are very familiar with your chart, check out where your sun is currently, or your moon for Rising Venus, is currently um, transiting um, in the houses. I have put a video up yesterday briefly explaining what I mean by that and you can see my how I follow the chart um, so do check that out if you want to dive in that further just gives you another insight to the actual uh, uh, houses movement rather than the zodiacs themselves um, yeah cross watchers are welcome um, thank you for the like share subscribe comments it's the easiest way to support the channel it's much appreciated so we're going to take a, an issue something you're aware of something you're not aware of recent past um, advice stroke immediate future and potential outcome and at the end, there's an opportunity to, uh, uh, for an extended reading where we'll dive in deeper with whatever comes out with nine card spread as well as um, some oracles. Okay, so uh, no particular song came out in your uh, pre-shuffle, um, so I'm going to be as surprised as you. Five of Cups, so it could be some sort of disappointment and sadness. Uh, let's see, we'll do three more. The words came that came were um, lonely at the top, so I don't know if there's any sort of. Um, I mean, you know, we come across fear of failure all the time, but there's also fear of success, um, because sometimes success, you know, comes isolation. Let's see, something we're aware of, something we're not aware of. Some past advice and potential outcome. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. Somebody is watching you. Could be work related. With the Ten of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Nine of Swords and the Hierophant. Right, I, I kind of feel like it's what we spoke about. It's kind of like this fear of success because you don't want to be lonely. I kind of see that you need to be... You need to do whatever this is by yourself at the moment, I feel. Whether that's study, whether that's a uh, uh, time away reflecting. Whether that's, you know what, just, I, can't, I forget, and I apologise, I forget who said it, but um, I always remember reading someone saying, just disappear for six months, you know, obviously if you can, work related uh, otherwise. Um, and, you know, in six months you can transform anything in your life. And it's kind of that I'm getting here. Um, but when you do come back from the mountain of the hermit, this person that's been keeping an eye on you, I kind of feel like he's going to come in with an offer. And King of Pentacles is is somebody that's he could be older than you. Um, it doesn't have to be male or female. Just I mean, it can be a male or female. It doesn't um, you know they get caught up in genders. But some of this is very practical. Um, it could be a businessman. It could be um, an opportunity to uh, for growth here. So we've got the hermit. What we're aware of is that five of cups that was jumping. So there is some sort of sadness attached to this loneliness at the top or, or just being lonely in general. What we're not aware of is the Ten of Pentacles. The, the potential that you've got is the Ten of Pentacles. It's knowledge, it's wisdom, it's fruitful, it's a beautiful home, it's, it's materials, it's um, money in the bank. There's all that potential there. But I'm, I'm more concentrating on the fact that there's a lot of people in here. Share your success, I kind of feel like, is the message here. You know, it doesn't have to be lonely if you share your success. 
Um, in the recent past is the Seven of Wands. So, I think, I feel like you've, you've been put in a protect, protective bubble here. I do very much think you're tapping into your feminine energy because there's just a lot of circular energy that I'm seeing here. Um, masculines tend to be the straight lines, feminine tends to be the rounded edges. Um, but you could be getting a lot of attention and um, there's a need to protect yourself. Perhaps that's been one of the issues, especially for um, an empath or deal with people and you're not quite sure how to deal with this energy. This energy might not even be yours, but you might be feeling it. Um, so especially if you are an empath, it's so, so important to, um, you know, daily rituals, cleansing your energy. Um, I have a wonderful bit of advice um, from a wonderful friend uh, told me about salt scrubs, because uh, obviously you, you hear about taking salt baths for um, clearing your energy. But today's society, you don't really get the opportunity to take baths every two minutes. But salt scrub in the shower, and I'm not kidding you, it was immediate. The energy that obviously, because I'm doing this, you accumulate the energy. And it, it disappeared, like, instantaneous. It was absolutely incredible. So things like that. There's a real need to protect your energy here. Visualisation. Literally visualise yourself in a sphere, protected. Okay? Because the Six of Wands, um, I kind of feel like, well, the Seven Wands there, obviously, with the Seven of Wands, but usually in the right of way, you're holding one of them and it's Six, six, six Wands attacking you. Um, and the Six of Wands can be ego as well, so it could be your own uh, ego that's uh, trying to get one upon you here. But I kind of feel like you've possibly removed yourself from society to a certain degree to protect your energy and I almost want to say it's time to reintroduce yourself five of cups could also indicate that you've forgotten how to obviously we've um, uh, the last couple of years covid everything you know a lot of us have been isolating and this could be you know what I'm actually I've been okay on my own <laughs> your own company but I kind of feel like there's a, there's a time to reinstate yourself now because your advice is the period of ones the page of ones for me is is here just to say that get that giddiness back, get that eagerness, get that uh, childlike um, fun again. Because um, I think there's going to be an opportunity, because I do believe this is a messenger. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's somebody that has been watching you, and is watching you coming back out from the top of the mountain. Like I say, could be a king of pentacles energy, a businessman. Um, could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be. I kind of feel like it's just... And again, it doesn't have to be a businessman, but somebody that's got their own business or is very wise, especially financial matters. And your outcome is the world. This is completion. This is, um, I kind of feel like just joy and happiness here. It, it, there is one song that's in my head, um, and it is Google Dolls, um, Iris, and it's not in my head for the reason of the song itself, it's in my head for something I read about with the lead singer. Uh, when he wrote Iris, he, um, he was going through a tumultuous time, I, 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 we're going back, well, Iris was late 90s, wasn't it? So at least 20 odd years. Um, when he wrote it, he said normally when he does his writing of his lyrics, it's quite uh, torturous. He goes self-worth issues, I think, and um, um, procrastination, that type of thing. And then Iris came along, and even though things were going wrong all the time, I think it, it was strumming the guitar and it kept, they kept the uh, strings kept on breaking and as he was um, resetting them he, he was in uh, strange tensions where um, it created a sound that he wasn't familiar with but it created iris and it came so naturally and easy and he was just like you know what thank god you know thank god for this 
And I kind of feel like the message here is, you know, despite everything that's happened, you know, if, if you have felt isolated from everything, if things haven't been going too wrong, if you are aware of sadness and disappointment, good things can follow. You know, even when we're down, we just get back up again. And the world here, I kind of feel like is, because it, it, in some decks it's also called the universe. And I kind of feel like that's just, you know, she's here looking up and just saying, you know, thank you, thank you God. Um, you don't have to be a god, it can be universe, angelics, whatever you uh, attach yourself to. Um, it's kind of like uh, this, you know what, I might not have all this yet, but it's here in the spread, you will. So be joyful for the little things, you know, the day-to-day -day things right now. Some things are standing out as well, both ends of the spectrum here, we've got the seven, we'll have to get used to this camera, we've got the seven of ones here in the world. Uh, and it's really standing out as a sacred geometry on the world card here. Um, look up sacred geometry crystal grids. Um, there's a wonderful one. Uh, she's called Ashley. It's something like Love and Light School or something like that, if memory serves me correct. Um, I'll put it in the comments. If I forget, please somebody remind me. And it's, it's a wonderful um, crystal pr protection grid you, you need. Well, I think there's black tourmaline, peridot, labradorite, or something like that. But you, you, you create um, um, the seed of life and um, uh, you, can, you can do a grid with it. But it, she explains everything. Um, so that's a, an extra message there for somebody. So yeah, time to leave the mountain. Yeah. Um, because success completion awaits right so in the extended we're going to look at the potential um, I kind of feel like there's an offer coming in when you start coming down um, it, it, I mean, it could be romantic I, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's leaning more towards um, uh, work related here but um, there's no uh, no reason why it can't be both so we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow, we're uh, those are the standouts. That's all Earth. You're surrounded by Earth. But we've got cups, we've got wands, we've got swords, and we've got pentacles. Everybody's here for those of you standouts. So, Cancer, if you can join me in the extended, fantastic. If not, I shall see you next week. Look after yourselves. Bye.